What's up, music fam? I think by now most of us have heard about Jamie Foxx's health scare, but I'm glad to hear that he's doing better and is on his way to recovery. Because Jamie Foxx is so multi-talented and also just well-loved as a human being, it might be easy to forget that he's also an amazing R&B artist, but in my commitment to preserving the sound of R&B, I feel that I would be remiss if I didn't mention Jamie Foxx's influence on R&B, as well as his influence on me as a producer. So let's give Jamie Foxx his flowers and pray for a full recovery, hoping that he'll be back doing his thing very soon. Don't forget to like, and if you're new to the channel, I'd appreciate it if you subscribe. After being introduced to Jamie Foxx in the 90s on In Living Color, and seeing not only his funny skits, but also watching him sing and play on the piano, I can remember the first time I finally heard a release by Jamie Foxx. As much as I've seen him play and sing, I was still wowed by the fact that he was actually an amazing recording artist. Since then, he's released a lot of songs that I really like, but there's just something about the song, Infatuation. Listening back to it, that song was so 90s and so well executed. making a 90s style R&B beat. I have to constantly decide whether to substitute some of the 90s sounds with more current sounds that might actually be of a better quality by today's standards. In some cases I will, but some sounds are so signature to the 90s that changing those sounds actually take away from the 90s R&B sound.
biggest parts of a 90s R&B song was the intro. A lot of times it would just be some freestyle chords, similar to the chords of the song, but just a little bit more churchy or jazzy. Then it started going straight to the verse like in today's R&B. The artist would come in strong with some ad-libs, either over the hook or over the instrumental. This is where the artist told the world, hey look, it's about to get real serious. The next four and a half to six minutes of your time are mine. This is when they hooked you in and said, hey, stop whatever you're doing, because I got something to say. And that's what we did. We actually took our time and listened. Another element of 90s R&B that might have gone unnoticed was the fact that the bass line often changed up at the end. They had to find a way to still keep that groove that made it catchy, but just added a little flavor to it. Things like this kept the song from sounding too repetitive and helped keep the listeners interested. And when we heard that four and a half to six minute song start to fade out, we wished it was even longer. So we played it again and again and again until we knew the words. At least we thought we knew the words. And then we played it again and we sang our hearts out whether we could sing or not. central part of 90s r &B. This was the part of the song that changed up and added a whole nother element, another dimension, another angle. I love 90s r bridges because they were so full of emotion. school choirs in the black church, they had to do a breakdown. This was an opportunity for the singers to show off a little bit and let you know just how they were feeling. And you definitely felt it.
there was a synth solo. It might have been played along with the vocals or it might have been just instrumental. But this was somewhat of a climax of the song, somewhere near the end. Maybe because they were still using ADAT or some other form of tape. I heard a lot of mistakes in these synth solos, kind of like in this beat. But it just gave a human element to the music and didn't sound over edited. And just when you thought it was over, some 90s R&B songs gave you just a little bit extra, just a little bit more at the end. This was the part of the song that usually got cut off on the radio, so to hear this part you had to buy the tape or the CD, but man it was worth it. songs would just fade out. But there was something special about those songs that gave a little bit of extra at the end. These songs were an experience. 90s r songs made you feel like you actually knew the artist.
right, Mr. Found. Thanks for checking it out. I hope I was able to give you just a little taste of the night. Let's say a prayer for our brothers and your father. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time, you all be blessed.